But anyways, enough about me. Time for some hoops, baby. 2018-19 hoops basketball, 10 box half case break number nine. Got a fresh case here. So let's get this thing popping. Oh, dude, Bears defense is great. They got a top five defense for sure. But, you know, nowadays defense doesn't win you championships like back in the day, man. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. If the Bears beat the Rams, you're winning the Super Bowl. Is that this week's matchup? Bears, uh, Rams. Ooh, that should be a really good game. One, two, three, four, five, ten. There it is. All right, people. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. This break sucks. I am not even going to sugarcoat it. It is one of my least favorite breaks to do. Not because uh, the cards are not cool. They're definitely nice looking. Lots of good stuff in here. Eight cards per pack. 24 packs per box. Ten boxes. Only two autographs. Uh, a buttload of base cards. Equals not fun for me. Next week is Bears Rams on Sunday Night Football. Oof. That's going to be a good game. I hope it is anyway. We'll see just how good that Bears defense is. And it's in Chicago. Oh, man. And my Dolphins, you know, believe it or not... We're still in the hunt for uh, for a for a for a wild card spot. We could still possibly win, uh, win out, and get in as a wild card. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. But you know, gotta be optimistic. Got to. All right, Marcello, I'm, I'm going to do whatever detective work I can do, but uh, I'll get on Jason to uh, to get back to you about that. I'll get back to you later tonight, uh, Marcello. You have my word on that. Got to get that figured out, man. The Dolphins would have a better shot in the NFC. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I do my finger exercises every day, Aaron. What up? How you doing? It's not. It's not. It's not so much finger exercises. It's more so mental because this thing will drive you crazy. Abraham is right here, Kean. But you know, Abraham is a ripcitycards.com exclusive. You know, can't give you everything on eBay. All right. Let's see what we got. Good luck, y'all. Oh, the lovely base cards. Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to bother turning the cards over to make this thing go quicker, man. And if Casey, you know, you could always play this thing uh, at half speed if you want to see every single thing. But believe me when I tell you, 
I'm doing the both of us a favor. Kerry Kittles autograph for the Nets. That's a, it's a, you know he's got a sweet deal. He's got a sweet deal. You know Abraham is a diva. Trying to get through this break as quickly as possible. I don't want to sit here for an hour and a half. Flipping cards right side up. and It's all base cards that nobody cares about. Elio Kobo of the Suns autograph. I should say not many people care about it. Because, you know, they're, they're, of course there's people out there that care about the base cards. But for the most part, not many of us do. JJ Reddick, 2018 Sixers. Yeah, I left it on red, Marcello. I left it on red, so he knows what's up. But I'm, I'm also on him, you know, trying to ask him if, you know, what's going on. You know, what I can do to help. Blah, blah, blah. I got you, Marcello. We'll take care of it tonight, baby. You got my word. Definitely, this product is is the first of the uh, with the rookies in their uniforms. Their first autographs too in uniform, but it's just so many base cards, man. Jimmy Butler, twenty eighteen Timberwolves, and inserts number to twenty eighteen. That's a little ridiculous, if you ask me. But then we got cards like these that are really nice. Rodney Hood to 99 for the Cavaliers. The archaeologist inserts are pretty cool. But, you know, why? To 2018, why? Jalen Brown of the Celtics to 2018. Uh, Purple Parallel, Clay Thompson Warriors. I like Eli, uh, Ellie. Ellie Okobo is nice, man. The Suns got a nice little young team out there. In a few years, they're going to be making big, big time noise. The, how about the Bucks, though? The Bucks are looking like the real deal. They spanked the Warriors the other night. Got a random this thing. We got uh, Thunder and Pistons. Mamba versus Aiton. That should be a good one, Aaron. Two young boys going at it. The most uh, overpaid player in NBA history right here. Chandler Parsons to 199 for the Grizzlies. I think they're paying that cat over $20 million a year. And he's, well, he's in the NBA so he can't suck. But, you know, compared to other people that uh, are in his uh, salary range, he sucks. All right, that's one box down. See, that wasn't too bad, right? Only got nine more to go. Jonathan Isaac looks pretty good too. The hell yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with these young boys. You got to give them a couple years to develop. Especially if they only spent one season in college. You know, chances are they're still they're still growing. You know, they they still gotta get that that grown man strength. But a lot of good young teams in, across the NBA. The Kings look really good, and I was I was warning you guys like earlier this year. Watch out for the Kings, and they're coming. The Suns are another team to look out for. The Mavericks are another really good young team on the come up. Might not make the playoffs this year, but they are on the come up. Yeah, you know, they're a young team, Aaron. They're a young team. But they'll be all right. The Kings will be all right. They're still a, a very, very young team. Celtics have been a pretty big disappointment so far. 
when everybody was picking them to run away with the East, and they have not done that. I know the, I knew the Rockets weren't going to be good at all. Last year was their one chance, and that was it. But then again, it's basketball. You know, you get hot at the right time, you never know. But I feel like, you know, last year was their, their, their one real true chance to win a championship. You know, Mike D'Antoni, as great as he is offensively, he just does not believe in playing defense. Like, he just does not. Like, he's allergic to the word defense. Not gonna win a championship like that in the NBA. Marshawn Brooks to 199 Grizzlies. Oh, dude, they they need to get more than just uh, Trevor Ariza. Marshawn Brooks Grizzlies autograph. You know, they, Harden still does not play defense like that. Man, that team is just. They're a great regular season team, and that's it. And they're not even doing that well right now. put this out there and see what you guys think about this but the Rockets should really consider trading James Harden Joanna B 2018 Sixers James Harden is just a one-dimensional player he is not a franchise player Tobias Harris to 99 Clippers they tried and have not succeeded oh, what I you out of here All later right. bro Clippers are balling too, man. Shy Gilgis Alexander, that kid's a stud. You know, it's 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 a good thing that uh, Dan, what's his name, Doc stepped down from uh, from GM to just be to just focus on what he's good at. Lamarcus Aldridge, 2018 Spurs. Aaron, let's be honest, dog. Let's be honest. Let's be honest for real. Do you really think Harden should have won MVP last year over LeBron? LeBron was better in every single category, except maybe points. And even if he did, even if he was like a true, like you know, deserving of the MVP, he is just not a championship caliber player, bro. Like he doesn't play defense, man. Like, do you understand how, like, what that, like, what tone you're setting for your team? Lonnie Walker, Spurs autograph. He got hurt. That sucks. I, I was really hoping to see him play for the Spurs. Because D'Antoni is one of the best coaches ever. You feel me, David? I want to say trash. But, bro, he does not play, a, like, he doesn't even try to play defense. Like he like he just saves all his energy for offense, man. Like that tone that you're setting for your team, like you're supposed to be the leader, you're supposed to be the franchise player, and you don't even try to play defense? Nah, bro. You're not gonna win a championship that way. I am sorry. I would he's definitely not trash, but dare I say overrated? Stephen Curry, 199 Warriors. Well, actually, no. He's not overrated. Everybody in the NBA knows that Harden doesn't play defense. If you ask Harden, you know, he'll give you that look. But even he knows that he doesn't play defense. He's like a matador out there. Ole. He's definitely not trash. Like, on offense, 
he's he's up there with the best of them. He can get to the bucket. He can do anything offensively that you need him to do. He can do it. He doesn't play defense in the playoffs, kids. Play for life. Let's be honest, bro. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's be real. Now, Russell Westbrook should have won it last year, bro. How do you average a triple-double for a season and you don't win MVP? And he did it two years in a row. And my boy Russ goes out there and competes on both ends of the floor. Night in, night out. I'll give you that kid's play. He he does play a little bit more defense. Like he, he closes out a little bit better in the postseason. But you can still drive past him. You can get a shot over him at any point you want. He always bites on the pump fake. His, his lateral quickness is non-existent. Like, he's just... I hate to say it, but James Harden sh just should not be the number one. Maybe trade Harden to Lakers. Trade Harden to the Lakers. I'll tell you right now, if the Rockets don't win a championship this year, they should really consider starting over. Trade Harden while you can still get something for him. Maybe trade him to the Lakers. Trade Kuzma, Ingram, and Lonzo Ball for James Harden. Boom. And my thing with Russell Westbrook is like, I don't think he has... Like, he could do anything on the basketball court. But I don't think he has the knowledge. You know what I mean? I'm not calling him stupid, but his decision-making... Is erratic, like like Evan says. What's up, King Di uh, Diamonds? How that di diamonds diamonds cards? I hope I pronounced that right. Now you put James Harden and LeBron on the same team, that would be really good. Ooh, imagine that. That would be nice. Damon, gotcha, my dude. Joshua Kogi, Timberwolves rookie autograph. I saw a stat the other day. Uh, the Timberwolves went from being, I think they were like the 28th, 26th rated defensive team in the NBA. Since the Jimmy Butler trade, they are now the number two defensive team in the entire NBA. And the Sixers have gotten worse defensively. Is that the Jimmy Butler effect? Uh, I don't know, but it's definitely an, an interesting stat. I wouldn't say Butler's underrated, but he's uh, he's a bit of an enigma. John Wall, 2018 Wizards. He's a bit of an enigma. I don't know. Oh, dang, uh, Alan. I hope you're feeling better, my dude. Take medicine, bro. Me and Jason have been sick, too. So. Of course, I'm, I'm a little bit better on that end than Jason. Jason is really going through it right now. Dream on green to 99 Warriors. I've, I've gotten through the, the worst of it, thankfully. I can actually talk now. Yeah, Jimmy. I like Jimmy Butler though, but it's 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 uh, you know none of us really know what happened in in Minnesota. But uh, if what they say is true, oh man, Butler is a piece of crap for that. <laughs> Oh, hell no, Damon. That's what I was worried about, too. Uh, I had a pretty... I had a fever. 
that I, I got over it, thank God. Don't make her 25 bucks. And I had a little bronchitis situation. But thankfully, I got over both. I mean, I still got a little flu and whatnot, but definitely better than what than what I was this weekend. Clint Capella, 2018 Rockets. That's what happens, man. We, you know, whenever the weather changes, I usually get sick. And we got, we got a cold front here recently, so whenever that happens, I automatically get sick. I'm going to buy 189 Heat. Speaking of the heat, man, we got to make a move. I don't know what the move is, but we got to do something. Henry Ellenson of the Pistons. We might be tanking this year. I don't know. We might be tanking, trying to get uh, RJ or or Zion. I be, I, I've been saying this for a while now, and I'm going to continue saying it. I really, really, really think Zion should stay in college at least one more year. What, what, what are you talking about, Damon? You can hear what on me. K. Daisy in the house. Yep, Bowman is in the store, my good sir. Although, have you heard the news? Yep, there you go, Chris Fitz, the bearer of bad news. I'll let you do that. <laughs> no, no, no. What's a good emoji to send, Jason? <laughs> I love Bitmoji. Oh my god. Not for nothing. I definitely want us to get rid of. Uh, oh, thank you, King David. Uh, definitely want to get rid of Whiteside because we got Bam at a bio, and that kid's a beast, man. That that kid is gonna be a really good player. So I'm I'm done with Whiteside. He he showed me what he's about last year in the playoffs. Don't want anything to do with that guy. He he's got to get the hell out of there. Uh, well, Kate Daisy, the I got one that's at 17 spots left. So I'm gonna put a filler together to try to knock that out. Hopefully tonight. The rest of the tech breaks though. They're kind of just hovering about uh, around 23, 24 spots. So I'm likely going to refund that. And then as far as the high tech, I want to do it as like maybe a half caser, random teams, or maybe random divisions. I, I got to play with the numbers and try to make it as cheap as possible to, uh, to get rid of it. Well, I mean, yeah, if you don't want to refund KDC, I'll, just, I'll shoot you a uh, break credit, which is what I usually do. Most people are fine with break credit, so they can just put it towards another break. But yeah, the Heat definitely got to get rid of Whiteside. I would like to keep Richardson, but uh, if we got rid of him, I wouldn't be upset. I really want to get rid of Justice Winslow. That guy's a that guy. That guy's that guy. All he's good for is defense, and and that's it. Can't play a lick of offense. And it, you know what hurts? What hurts even more is we could have drafted Devin Booker, DJ Augustine, or whatever name Magic. We could have drafted Devin Booker, but we drafted Justice Winslow instead. That 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 hurts me. That hurts my soul. Ronnie Cycli, our first ever draft pick for the Miami Heat right there. Fun fact. Very nice. He is now a, a DJ. World-renowned DJ. Winslow. Justice Winslow. That guy sucks. 
And we got good pieces, man. Goran Dragic, not for nothing. A great, great point. Well, maybe not great, but a really good point guard. He'd be good on any team. Starting point guard on any team, in my opinion. <coughs> exactly. We could have drafted Donovan Mitchell. <sighs> Actually, no. I don't think we had any draft picks that year when, when Mitchell came out, which was last year. Who did we draft last year? Yeah, we didn't have a draft pick last year. Or maybe we did. I don't know. I can't remember. No, it was this year we didn't have a draft pick. So you're right. We could have drafted Mitchell last year. But no. I mean, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Marvin Bagley for the Kings. Very nice. It's a big hit right there. Yeah, you're right, Aaron. We did draft out of bio last year. So I had to stop and think. What? What? When did we draft out of bio? And that was last year. I'm happy with the out of bio pick. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm very happy with the out of bio pick. You know, considering the talent we, you know, we thought we could have had. You know, passing up on Donovan Mitchell, understandable. But looking back on the Justice Winslow pickup, that was, we definitely dropped the ball on that one. Uh, LeBron James, 2018 Cavaliers. King Damon says, word on the street is they don't even like Mitchell there anymore. Who? The Jazz don't like Donovan Mitchell anymore? I find that extremely hard to believe. He's the best thing that's happened to the Jazz since freaking uh, the mailman, bro. And Stockton. Remember when they had Deron Williams <coughs> and uh, and Carlos Boozer and them boys? Good times. Nikola Meritage, 2018 Pelicans. Man, Deron Williams, that guy's career. What the hell happened to that guy? <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, I'm not coughing on the cards. <coughs> it's called turning your head around the opposite direction. There we go, some water. So his teammates are not fond of him. Really? Huh, we'll trade him to Miami. We'll gladly take him. Alan Crabb, the 99 Nets. Chris Paul to 999 Rockets. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Again, not coughing on the cards. But I do need some water. <coughs> This is true, King Damon. But uh, you know, a lot of people don't want that. But I had a you know, I got a couple messages last night, like, dude, why are you breaking when you're sick? Blah blah blah, dude, don't cough on all the cards. What the hell? Like, dude, like seriously, come on, like, come on, like, let's be honest. How big of a dumbass would I have to be to cough on the cards? Like, come on, seriously. You know, and as far as, you know, breaking while I'm sick, you know, don't really have a choice, man. <coughs> this is what I do for a living. And if you don't like me, you're really not going to like my partner. Because my partner is way sicker than I am. Unfortunately, we're both sick right now. And, you know, we're not about to postpone these breaks over a flu. What's up, Ray's Goon over on Breakers? Yeah, King Damon can't please everybody. Like, I understand. You know, like, I get it. But, I mean, why would I, you know, come on, dude. I'm not going to cough on the cards, like. It's just, it's mind-boggling to me. 
that people would think that. King David says, lick the cards for those people that said that. No, definitely not going to do that. That would make it a Cardboard Moses 101. And then, you know, you could sell that thing on the eBay for stupid money. Got my DNA on there. Rogers got the the gunslinger mustache popping or something. What time is that game tonight anyway? Like at eight o'clock or something? Don't play until Friday, which is tomorrow. Bills, Dolphins on Sunday. We're going to lose. Because we fucking suck. Ooh, Toronto and Golden State tonight at 8 o'clock. And at 820, Saints, Cowboys. Hmm. I think I'm going to watch that Warriors uh, Raptors game. I'm kind of busy right now, King Demon. But once I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to put those Google skills to use. Uh, is Curry back? I'm not sure. I think so. I think so. Carmelo to 25 Jazz. Uh, I'm sorry, Keita Bates Diop, Timberwolves rookie. Another solid rookie right there. Timberwolves got a nice team, man. Nice young nucleus. And now that Butler left, they're actually playing like a team. Jason Tatum to 999 Celtics. They've been a disappointment. I really thought they were going to be way better than they are right now. <coughs> Luke Williams to 99 Clippers. Clippers have been balling. I agree, dude. The Warriors are a completely different team when Steph Curry is out there. It's crazy, bro. Ben Simmons to 2018 Sixers. Like, they're a really good, you know, they're championship material without them. But with them, they're, they're a cheat code. They're, they're like a team you make on a video game. You know what I mean? Where you just, you trade all the good players to your favorite team and boom. There you go. Unstoppable. What did, what did Steph injure anyway? His ankles? Because he, he always has had ankle issues. Patrick Patterson and 189 Thunder. I like Patrick Patterson. He he's kind of that Draymond Greenish type player. Charles Oakley of the Knicks. He couldn't play in today's NBA. That boy was about that action. We're halfway, we're halfway there, people. <laughs> we are halfway there, believe it or not. LeBron James, 2018 Cavs. 
Alrighty. Halfway there. Keep it going. Alrighty. Get some more water real quick. Deion Waiter still hasn't come back to play for the Heat. Man. Russell Westbrook, 2018 Thunder. That guy's been a huge waste of money so far. Marcus Aldridge, 2018 Spurs. I definitely got to catch a Heat game before, uh, before the end of the season, though. I'm gonna watch my boy D Wade do his thing one last time. Jimmy Butler, 189 Timberwolves. <coughs> Nazir Muhammad, Spurs autograph. Again, not coughing on the cards. Turning my head all the way back. 
Ooh! Now that. Now that. <coughs> is a good one. Luka Doncic. Rookie autograph for the Mavericks. Huge. Huge hit right there. Very nice. There's been a, a few. There's been a couple other ones. The Bagley's pretty sweet. I like Okogi. So we've had some good good ones so far. That Donkage is nice. Last time you went to a Heat game, the wife won. Tickets and you sat behind the Heat bench? Dang, must be lucky. I see why you married her. Excuse me. Clay Thompson, 2018 Warriors. Year after LeBron left. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, man, I want this Rip City jersey. For me and Jason. That would be dope. You know, have like cardboard Moses on the back. Cardboard Jesus. That would be nice. The Birdman. I miss those Heat teams. We had really good teams back in the day. Back in the day, like five years ago. I wish LeBron never left, man. I, I still feel like if LeBron never left Miami, he would have won more championships than, you know, moving back to Cleveland. But what do I know? I'm happy that he got a championship for Cleveland. Sad that he left us, though. Rockets boy in the house. What up? Nah, I, I'm not mad at LeBron going back to Cleveland to get that chip, though. Absolute basketball, Rockets boy, comes out tomorrow. The 30th.
I wish LeBron never left, but you know, I get it. I get why he left. Had to bring that championship to Cleveland. That one championship in Cleveland, way bigger than the two championships he won in Miami. One, because he, I feel like he had a worse team in Cleveland than those teams in Miami. Those teams with Miami were just stacked. From top to bottom. Just way better teams than he had in Cleveland. Yeah, that one championship probably equals like three. I still wish he never left. Aaron Holiday to 25 for the Pacers. Pacers got a nice young team. A lot of good talent in the NBA. I like it. I like it. I'm still going to cry when D-Wade retires, though. That's going to be a sad moment. DeMarcus Cousins to 189 Warriors. Almost done, y'all. I got three more boxes to go after I'm done with this. And that'll be it for the eBay breaks. And then we can go, go on to the store. Steph Curry to 999 Warriors. Man, exactly. But what are you going to do? The Mavericks just outcoached us and LeBron just shut it down mentally in that finals. I don't know what happened. We had that in the bag. Game two is how is, is when we lost the championship. Klay Thompson, the 2018 to Warriors. When they came back, I think they came down from like down 18 or something like that. At at home against the Heat. That's when I knew that we were not going to win that championship. DeAndre eight and a 99 uh, for the Suns. Yeah, that sucks. We never got to see that. We never got to see LeBron and Kobe go at it in the finals. And that was the second time they, that they could have happened. It almost happened. Uh, but, you know, that was that was, uh, that was was LeBron that failed. You know, that year that it was Magic uh, Lakers. You know, LeBron lost to the Magic in the Eastern Conference Finals. But everybody knows the Lakers would have beat would have beat LeBron and them. Kobe just has that that assassin mentality, and LeBron would have just crumbled like a little like a little girl. Russell Westbrook to 2018 Thunder. Actually, let me take that back. Not like a little girl, because little girls would put up more of a fight than LeBron did. At least that version of LeBron. For the Clippers, Patrick Beverly, the autograph. Georgie Baca, 189 Raptors. A big reason why the Raptors are playing very well. Sergi Baca. Getting back in that paint, not taking as many jumpers as he was last year or prior. You know, Ibaka, if I was the coach, I would tell Ibaka, you you shoot you shoot you shoot one three, and I'm benching you. For every three you shoot, I'm benching you for ten games. Even though I, even though he can make them, he can make he can make those threes, but he has no business being out there. You gotta be down there on that on that block in that paint, throwing elbows around, you know, putting that body to use, getting rebounds instead of you know hovering around the the three point line like you're some kind of shooting guard or something. I really don't like, you know, that a bunch of big men now are shooting the three. 
like Joel Embiid. He can make them. I would not allow him to shoot a single three, though. I would bench him so quick. Almost done. Oh, boy. Brady getting closer and closer to the end. Zach Randolph to 189 Kings. Javon Carter, Grizzlies rookie autograph. Got a random leaves. Jalen Brown to 999 Celtics. Got Paul George to 2018 Thunder. Paul George to 199 Thunder. Kobe Bryant autograph for the Lakers. There we go. See, this is worth sorting through all those base cards. That is nice. With the official Kobe sticker on the back. That is sick. There you go, Kobe. Or I should say Lakers. Very nice hit right there. Reggie Bullock to 99 Pistons. I've been pulling a few Kobe's lately. What can I say? I got the gift. Chris Middleton, 2018 bucks. Uh, 
All right, two boxes left. Almost done. The second to last box. Let's knock this thing out. I don't think veteran base ships in this. I'm not sure. I gotta look it up. I've been separating it anyway. Just in case. And out of habit. Got uh, Chris Paul 2018 Rockets. They throw a depot, ninety nine Pacers. For the Hawks, Jack Vaughn, the autograph. Come on. Cal Bridges of the Suns, the hot signature.
Donovan Mitchell, 2018 Jazz. TJ Warren, 199 Suns. Alrighty. Last box, thank God. James Harden to 2018 Rockets. Last box, Mojo. Kata Bates Diop, Tim Wolves autograph. Lenny Walker, the fourth to one eighty nine Spurs. Mitchell the Jazz to 2018. Ben Simmons 2018 Sixers. John Henson to 99 Bucks.
Nice. Penny Hardaway to 25 for the Magic. Man, if he had never got injured, could have been a, one of the GOATs. Sick hit there for the Magic. Old school. Finally done with the break. Okay. So let's see. I have doubles of some. So if I have doubles, I'm going to give one to each. And the rest, I'm going to have to get random. So I got Thunder Pelicans on here. So I'm going to give one to each. Neither is numbered. And same with this one, Thunder Pistons, neither is numbered. So I'm going to give one to each. And then the other two, we got a random. I'll do that in a second. First, let me make a note. This one's Thunder. This one's Pelicans. This one's Thunder. And this one is Pistons. As far as the other two, it's either going to go to the team on the left or on the right. Alright, see on the bottom I got a team on the left and a team on the right, so I'm going to roll a die. If I get a odd number, left side team. Even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So it's going to the right side team. So this will be Knicks and this will be Pelicans. All right, so let's get that sleeved. I'm going to write on the sleeve so my sorters know what's up. So that's Knicks, and this one is Pelicans. Okie dokie, artichoke, that's the only thing I had to random. Now for the uh, recap, autographs only, because that's all we care about. So we got... Penny Hardaway to 25 Magic, uh, Bates D up Timberwolves, Bridges Suns, Von Hawks, Carter Grizzlies, Beverly Clippers, Holiday Pacers 25, Muhammad Spurs, Oakley Knicks, Bates D up Timberwolves, Cycle Heat, Ellington Pistons, Okogie Timberwolves, Walker the Fourth Spurs, Brooks Grizzlies, Okobo Suns, Kittles Nets, and Uncle Jesse's Best of the Best. A Kobe Bryant Lakers autograph, Marvin Bagley the third for the Kings, and Luka Doncic of the Mavericks. Sick, sick hitch right there. And that's it for their eBay breaks. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.